Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this neutral, minimalist Shopify website. This website is perfect for clothing, jewelry, beauty, and many other business types. And this website design is desktop and mobile responsive, so it looks perfect on mobile devices. And in today's video, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics, such as logos and web banners for your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, so first you're gonna to wanna to open Shopify and go to online store, then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes. I'm gonna be installing the original Dawn theme and this is gonna be the base for our website. Once that's done installing, click customize. And when you click this icon, it will show you how the website is gonna look in full screen. And when you click this icon, it will show you how the mobile version is going to look. I'm gonna click on this header and under desktop logo position, I'm gonna set this to middle center. This way our logo will display in the center of the website. Then right here, you can retitle the announcement bar text. And also you can select the link to a specific page or a product collection within your website. I'm gonna scroll down and remove this featured collection. And when you scroll down and then scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That is called a sticky header. And right here, I'm gonna be removing that effect. Click theme settings, then logo. Here you can upload your brand's logo and favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend having your logo in a transparent PNG format. And under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. Click colors, then open color scheme one. I'm gonna set the background to a very light beige color. Then I'm gonna change the text to a dark brown color. I'm also gonna change the outline button to that dark brown color. Then I'm gonna open color scheme two and I'm gonna change the background to a slightly darker shade of beige. Change the text to that dark brown color. The solid button background to beige. And I'm gonna change the solid button label to black and the outline button to dark brown. Then I'm gonna click on the announcement bar and set this to color scheme two. I'm gonna open typography and I'm gonna change this main font to the font Cormorant. When customers click catalog, it will take them to the shop all section of your website. And when they click contact us, it will take them to your contact form. If you'd like to design a more custom navigation bar, on your Shopify account, you're gonna open online store, then navigation and open your main menu. Here you can edit your current menu items and you can add new menu pages. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the header portion of the website. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the main web banner section. All right, so to design the main web banner, I'm gonna click on this image banner and I'm gonna be removing the heading text. Then I'm gonna reduce the image overlay opacity to zero. This way our web banner design will appear fully opaque. Then you can retitle the button label and select the link leading to a page or product collection within your website. And I'm gonna set this section to color scheme one. I've opened up Canva and I'm gonna click custom size and the dimensions I'm gonna do for the web banners are 4320 by 2160 pixels. First, I'm gonna set the background to a light beige color. Click elements, then open one of their image grids. Then I'm gonna duplicate this. When you click upload under upload files, you can upload your brand and product photos straight from your computer. Then you can just drag and drop them onto those image grids. Then I'm gonna upload a text box. I'm gonna change this to a dark brown color. Then apply the font Beautifully Delicious. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font Dream Avenue. I'm gonna duplicate this and create a larger text box right below it. Then I'm gonna duplicate this and create a smaller tagline text. Then upload a square shape. I'm gonna remove the background of this, then apply a border. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font to Glacial Indifferent. Click Effects, then I'm gonna apply the curved effect. This last step is optional, but I'm gonna search for a faded element. Then I'm gonna upload one of these onto the page. This is gonna give the top of the page a little more dimension. And also if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free elements that don't have the Canva Pro badge. Once you're finished, this will be the main web banner for the website. Next, you're gonna download this page in a PNG format for the best quality. Then back here on Shopify, you can click select image. Then upload that web banner page. Under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Then under desktop content position, I'm gonna set this to bottom right. Be sure to enable the container on mobile. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the main web banner for the website. Also, in case you just don't have time to design your website, this pre-made Shopify template is available on my store. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify themed template in a downloadable format in case you don't have time to design your website from scratch. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. 
This is a full template bundle, so I've also included all of the Canva templates that you'll see me putting together throughout this video. And I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva. So all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download them. I included a detailed installation guide to show you how to install the Shopify theme template. This pre-made Shopify website template will save you a ton of time. It's already laid out and designed for you, so all you'd have to do is just add your pictures and change the text. And that will be linked in my description box below. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the email signup and the collection list. Right here, I'm going to import an email signup. Under heading, you can retitle this section. Then I'm going to apply color scheme 2. And right below that, I'm going to insert a collection list. I'm going to increase the number of columns to 4. And under heading, you can retitle this section. You can enable the view all button if you have more than 4 collections. And be sure to enable the swipe on mobile. Then when you click on a collection, it will allow you to choose each collection you'd like to feature. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they are just categories you've chosen to create to assign certain products to, that way you can keep your shop organized. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the email signup and the collection list. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the About Us section. So right here, I'm going to import an image with text. Under heading, you can title this section. Then you can insert your about us text or your brand description. Next, I'm going to retitle the button label and select a link. I'm going to set this to color scheme 3. Then open color scheme 3 and I'm going to set the background to that light beige color. Change the text to dark brown along with the solid button background. And I'm also going to change the solid button label to white. Next, you're going to open Canva and click custom size. And the dimensions I'm going to do are 1000 by 1000 pixels. Click Elements, then upload an image grid. Then I'm going to duplicate this twice. Next, I'm going to set the background to a light beige color. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. Then you're going to download this page. And here on Shopify, you can upload that image. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the About Us section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the Featured Product Collection. So right here, I'm going to import a Featured Collection. Under heading, you can retitle this section. Then I'm going to set this to color scheme 2. Be sure to enable the swipe on mobile. Then you can select which collection you'd like to feature. For an example, most people feature their best-selling collection. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the featured collection. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the featured customer reviews section. So right here, I'm going to import a multi-column. I'm going to retitle this section. Then apply color scheme 2. Then remove the button label. I'm going to set the column alignment to center and increase the number of columns to 4. Then when you click on a column, under heading, I'm going to be pasting the star emojis to represent the customer's rating. And under description, you can paste in their review. I'll be using this text as an example, but I'd also recommend putting the customer's name and you can insert a link leading to the product they left their review on. You can also enable the swipe on mobile. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the displayed customer feedback section. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the second web banner section. So right here, I'm going to import an image banner. I'm going to set this to color scheme 3. Then you can retitle this section. I'm going to remove the second button label. Then you can retitle the first button label and select the link. Back here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. I'm going to insert an image grid. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. Next, I'm going to upload a text box, apply that dark brown color, then apply the font Beautifully Delicious. I'm going to duplicate this text box and put another version on the bottom left side of the page. Then you can download this page, then upload it into that image banner. Under banner heights, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. And once you're done, that's how I designed the second web banner section. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the featured blog post section. So right here, I'm going to import a multi-row. And I'm going to be removing the third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. I'm going to set the container color scheme to color scheme 2 and these two rows will represent your two displayed blog posts. When you click on a row, under heading, you can type in the title for that blog post. I'll be using this text as an example and you can also put a mini description and a caption to match. Then you can retitle the button label and paste the link leading straight to that blog post. Then you can upload pictures to represent the covers for those blog posts. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the featured blog post section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the featured Instagram post section. So right here, I'm going to import a multi-column. I'm going to set this to color scheme 2. 
Then you can retitle this section, and then I'm going to remove the button label. Then when you click on a column, you can type in the title or caption for the Instagram post that you're going to be featuring. Next, you can upload the Instagram post that you'll be featuring. Then below this section, I'm going to import a rich text, and I'm going to remove the text. I'm going to set this to color scheme 2, then apply the outline button style. Next, you can paste the link leading straight to your brand's Instagram page. And also be sure to enable the swipe on mobile. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the featured Instagram post section. By the way, if you are a beginner to Shopify and you're unfamiliar with creating products, connecting Shopify payments, writing your shop policies, and more, my Shopify basics guide is now available. I've put together this detailed Shopify beginner's guide to help you with learning everything you'll need to get your Shopify store started. In this guide, I've put together a collection of written explainers and video tutorials. That way you can understand each section. That will be linked in my description box below and be sure to use my code BEVERLY20 for 20% off your order. And lastly, I'm going to show you how I designed that last web banner section. So right here, I'm going to import an image banner. Then I'm going to remove the container on desktop, and I'm going to remove the text. I'm going to set this to color scheme 3. Then under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom center. Back here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. Click elements, then I'm going to open their image grids and upload a 3 grid. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. Then I'm going to upload a square shape. Then upload a text box. Apply the font to brown sugar. Then I'm going to duplicate this and create a smaller text box right below it. For this text box, I'm going to apply the font Dream Avenue. Upload one last text box. Apply the font to Beautifully Delicious. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Once you're done, you're going to download this page. Then upload it into that image banner on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the third web banner section. Alright, and here's the finished Shopify website. And as I mentioned, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. This is a fully done for you Shopify template. And if you're unfamiliar with the Shopify website templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format and you can easily install that website theme into your Shopify store. I included a detailed installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you've seen me putting together throughout this video. I designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva. So all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. This pre-made website template will save you a ton of time and that will be linked in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.